Hi everyone, let's talk about the binomial theorem. The goal is to start with the expression x plus y to the power of n and to expand it out, expand, and collect like terms. So we want to know what this looks like after expansion and collecting like terms. So let's do an example for n equals to 2. So for n equals to 2, we have x plus y squared, and that's x plus y times x plus y. And what we find by the distributive law is that this is equal to xx plus xy plus yx plus yy. There's a pattern that's already starting to emerge, and I'll point it out in just a second, but before that, let's do the expansion for n equals to 3. We have x plus y to the power of 3 is equal to x plus y times x plus y times x plus y. And we can use our result from just a moment ago here for the first two factors. So it's equal to xx plus xy plus yx plus yy times x plus y. And now we're just going to expand it again using the, the distributive law. So we get xxx plus xxy plus xyx plus xyy plus yxx plus yxy plus yyx plus yyy. And if you're wondering how I got that, just to be clear, I did these two terms and then these two terms. Then I did these two terms and these two terms. And I just kept going like that with this term and this term. So it's essentially using the distributive law. So as we can see here, in this case, we have all two tuples of x's and y's, which makes sense. It makes sense that we have four terms because there's two squared, two, which is equal to two times two, two possibilities times two positions. And over here, we have eight terms, which makes sense because we have two possibilities times two, times two times two, uh, so two to the power of three possibilities because there are three positions. The position one here, position two here, and position three here. So if you look at it, we have all eight possible three tuples of x's and y's. And this is what is true in general. You can prove this inductively. I'm not going to do this right now, but you can show in general that x plus y before collecting like terms, but after expansion to the power of n equals expanded equals to the sum of all products of n tuples of x's and y's. Okay, so now the question is what happens after what happens after like terms are collected? And the answer is this. Let's say we have x, y, x, x, and we have x, x, y, x. The point is that they collapse into the same term, which is x cubed y. So we're going to be collapsing a lot of terms into each other and getting a coefficient. So the terms look like this. We have 
x to the power of n. We have x to the power of n minus 1 y. We have x to the power of n minus 2 y squared. And we keep going like this until we have y to the power of n. And now we're just going to be permuting the, these collections. The number of ways of permuting n x's is simply n choose 0. The number of ways of permuting n minus 1 x's and a y is n choose 1. The number of ways of permuting n minus 2 x's and 2 y's is n choose 2. And we keep going like this until we have the number of ways of choosing n y's and 0 x's is n choose n. So that means the binomial expansion is simply x plus y to the power of n which is equal to the sum of n choose k times x to the power of n minus k times y to the power of k where k goes from 0 through n. That is what is called the binomial theorem or the expansion theorem for binomial expansions expressions. I just want to show you a quick demonstration of the power of this identity and that is that we have 0 equals to 1 minus 1 to the power of n so we have x equals to 1 and y equals to negative 1 and this is equal to by the binomial theorem k equals to 0 through n n choose k and negative 1 to the power of k and we have a 0 here and we have this all this term this sum with terms of alternating signs. So what that means is that the sum of n choose k with k between 0 and n and k even is equal to if we take the negative signs to the other side we have 0 less than or equal to k less than or equal to n k odd is equal to n choose k so it gives us this nice identity in terms of binomial coefficients. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.